Aviation Adventures. We're coming at you with some pretty exciting news. What do we got for him, Callie? Well, I decided that uh, maybe I should try and learn how to fly an airplane. So it is one of our goals that we would like to sometime have an airplane like this, just have a general aviation airplane. And it would be awesome if Callie was able to just take it if she wanted to and go fly, or we could go fly together, or whatever that is. I also feel like for safety reasons, like if we had an airplane, I would want to know what, I would want to understand what's going on and know how to fly it. You never know when I'm going to croak. <laughs> so she better know how to get on the ground. So she's going to take it all the way and do the private. What are you working on right now, Cal? So right now I'm taking my online ground school, and we're actually working with a company called Pilot Institute. They gifted me this course, and I'm going to be talking about it as I go through it. So far, it is freaking awesome. I'm psyched on it. Tyson's been watching along as well. He's maybe I'm, learning. I'm learning. Things. I'll tell you what, guys. Just doing this <laughs> and spraying, you you forget a lot of things that you learned, and so I am absolutely learning a lot. And this is cool because I think that we have a lot of people out there that are maybe thinking about getting their private pilot's license. Yeah. This is a great series for you guys because Callie's going to kind of go start to finish on on what she's doing, and this is going to get her ready and prepared to take the FA RIT. So it's all a ground school online. Yeah. She gets signed off for it, and then she could go and literally take her FA RIT. Sam. And I should be prepared for that. And so far, the online course, like, I basically went into it knowing nothing. I mean, some things, I guess, from being around aviation she, for the last yeah, few years. Yeah, I mean, you knew but, the terminology and stuff. But, like, if you told me to get an airplane and, and fly it, I would have no idea, really. I mean, I have a better understanding even now because of these courses. Anyways, um, it's been awesome. It's called Pilot Institute, and it's super affordable, actually. And I think... It's already, I've never really psyched on it. So, anyways, that's then, kind of the goal to do that. Um, yeah, what's, so after you get done with that, what's the plan? So the plan after that is to hopefully go to the great state of Arizona, is kind of our rough plan, and take a quick course, I guess is what you'd call it, like a th two to three week intensive private pilot license course. Yeah, an accelerated an accelerated program where instead of taking six or seven months, it takes three weeks, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's the plan. We'll see um, if we can get that done this winter, but we would like to try to try to get somewhere where it's warm and sunny and yeah. get her through that. I guess my end goal would be being able to have my private pilot's license by next summer would be like a pretty good goal to that shoot would for. Be, that would be awesome. Um, what uh, what do you want to, what, I mean, with, with Gideon, I know when we've flown together, you've maybe had some fears and stuff. Do you have any any fears right now about getting your private pilot's license? Um, yes. I am, uh, well, okay, so this is kind of how it went with paragliding as well. Tyson started paragliding, and I was like, I am never doing that. I could never do that. But then it kind of became a challenge for me to learn how to do that, and I did. And then I... Now I paraglide, so I was very afraid of being the only person in control of something like a paraglider or an airplane, um, and so I have a fear of that. But through paragliding, I've learned that I can do hard, scary things, and so that's helped get me ready and even more excited to get my private pilot's license, I feel like. Yeah. But I am afraid of flying. I'm afraid of being in control. I'm afraid that I'm, I'm going to get my private pilot's license, but I am afraid of flying. Well, I feel like once I know, I'm only afraid of it because I don't understand it. So once I know and can understand it and understand what's going on, I feel like I won't be as afraid. So no, definitely. And I'm, I, not I'm, afraid, definitely. I'm not definitely afraid of flying. Like some people are definitely afraid to get on yeah. even a jet to go across the country or whatever. But I'm just, it makes me nervous to be learning how to do this. Yeah, and I think that's the same when you were paragliding. You yeah. were kind of nervous about it. When you went up, went with an instructor, you were yeah. thinking, there's no way I could ever do this on my own. Yeah. But and now then I did, and it was the most empowering thing. Um, to do that solo, my first solo flight, my first and only solo flight, actually. Yeah. But uh, it's very empowering to do things that are hard and scary, and so I hope that this will be kind of like that and be empowering. 
Yeah, definitely. And we want to take you guys along on this journey. So we're going to kind of have a series going with this. She's going to be giving some updates, what on your ground school and how that's going a few times. Yep. Um, let, uh, let people know what's going on with it. Yeah. I would also, I also want to mention that I am afraid of judgment. I am afraid that people are going to think that I am only doing this because you have told me I needed to. But and I do want to be make, clear, yeah, I'm me. doing this for myself. And, and are you going to spray? Oh, no. No, no, no. <laughs> but you heard it here. It is on the internet. I will not be a spray pilot. Callie, I am doing this for interest. fun. I am doing this for fun, and I am doing this with hopes of maybe one day rescuing some animals and moving them across the country. And for fun, we want to like go explore really cool places and camp out of airplanes and that sort of thing. So no, yeah. I will not be a spray pilot. I'm sorry. I know some of you had hoped that's what that's where this trajectory was going, but it is not at all. So make sure that is known. <laughs> all right. If you guys have any questions about it, hey, we would love to hear it from you if you are thinking about going the same route and getting your private pilot's license. It'd be awesome if this was a little bit of an inspiration for you to go ahead and do that. And check out Pilot Institute. Uh, it's an awesome. Uh, platform yeah. for ground school for yep. sure. And this is all new to me being able to get online like this and do all this stuff. I'm, I'm blown away. So pretty cool stuff. But yeah, like I said, if you guys have any questions, leave them below. And either one of us will get back to you. But we do appreciate you watching. And normally it would be fly low and fly fast. But we are up here uh, at a, a good altitude. We're at what I would call a fun time. A fun, and speed. A fun altitude and speed. So. <laughs> All right, thanks again for watching, guys. I'm Tyson. And I'm Callie. With Ag Aviation Adventures.